at home with Lucas here. So today we're gonna to be talking about furnaces. Yes, people, my furnace has been on the fritz. I know that word is so old school, but I like saying it sometimes. It's been on the fritz for the past year now, and I, this is actually a new house to me. I moved from my old house and I had the exact same problem and I did not understand what the fix was. It wasn't until today that I actually figured it out. I am by no means an electrician. I'm not an HVAC expert. I am just a guy who did a bunch of Googling and figured out something that actually worked for me and caused my furnace to not constantly turn off when I cranked up the heat. The problem is very simple. I would turn the heat up to like 71, 72, 73, and within a matter of one to five minutes, the furnace would basically overheat and then turn off and I would have to wait and it would turn back on. And then if I didn't turn off the temperature that I had set it on, it would go ahead and reset once more. Changing my filters did not help. So I figured out the fix and it's real simple. Okay, this is my furnace right here. It's a gas furnace. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is flip the switch right here. Almost all furnaces have a switch right there. If you don't have one of those, go down to your breaker box and flip the breaker that goes to your furnace. You also want to shut off your gas. So once you flip your switch, you're gonna to wanna to turn your gas off. If you don't have gas, obviously you're good to go. The next thing you're gonna do is take off the cover. Okay, once you get your panel off, you're gonna to wanna to locate your overheat sensor. So this is mine right back here. That is my overheat sensor. It has two screws on it and it basically looks just like that. There's also another sensor right back here. This is not the one though. I believe there's about three sensors in these furnaces. So I'm just gonna take those screws off real quick. Okay, once you get it off, you're gonna need to wipe the sensor, which is that circle right there. You're gonna to wanna to wipe that off. One thing I have is a bunch of humidifiers running in my house pretty much all year long, and they're the ultrasonic ones, so they produce this white dust. You can see it right over here. It literally just wipes off, so you can just wipe this off with a cloth super easily. Now, if you have any kind of like burnt corrosion or anything, you're gonna to need to use a little brush or something to brush it off, but you don't wanna damage it, so don't use a wire brush. Um, but just wipe that clean. When I pulled this out the other day, it was so caked in white dust that the sensor obviously could not work. If you do this and it doesn't work, you're gonna to need to buy one of these sensors right here. You're gonna look up your furnace, get the sensor and put it in. They're around 20 bucks, so they're not gonna break the bank. Super easy to replace. Just take those two wires out right there and you're good to go. Once you've cleaned it off fully, you're gonna put this back in and you're gonna to wanna to make sure you do this at least once a year. So take this out once a year, clean it, put it back in, make sure you don't have the problem. Obviously the problem comes back, it's probably cause this is going bad. So that's your cue. And then you just wanna tighten these back down. You don't want them to be super tight. Just get them to where they're nice and snug. Okay, then you get your cover put back on. You're gonna flip your switch, turn on your gas if you have gas. Okay, so there you go. That is that is the fix that I found. I have replaced the filters. I've gone all the way down to the basic filters. I've gone to the medium filters. I currently have a reusable filter in there. None of the filters changed anything. It would always reset around one to five minutes. It would overheat. Once I wiped that sensor off, I could put pretty much any filter I want in there and it's good to go. Everything is working solid. It's been over a month now that I can crank it up to 73. I can crank it up to 74. So this is definitely a fix for this particular furnace. That is the name of the furnace right there. And that is the model of my furnace right there if you wanna look it up. Okay, just to wrap this all up, I have the Ecobee. Uh, I believe this is the third generation right here. Maybe it's the fourth generation. Uh, this thing has obviously been updated. I've had it for about four years now. It's been updated constantly. I've checked the wiring in the back, so I know it's not the wiring. I've done a lot of research on this particular unit, and I know it was not causing the overheating. The overheating was simply by the sensor up in the furnace. All right, there you go. That is the fix. Hopefully that helped you out. If it did, definitely click to clack that like button. And if you want to join the Adam Lux family, hit that subscribe button and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.